Hello everybody and welcome to a tutorial It's going to teach you how to install mods inside American Truck Simulator We're going to go ahead and get started Thank you all for coming by and watching guys are absolutely amazing If you guys are new to the channel definitely consider hitting that subscribe button Hit that notification bell and smash that like button guys help this channel out And I'm going to help you install mods inside American Truck Simulator So what you guys want to do and I will leave the links down in the description for everything that we download You guys want to go to modhub.us And what we're going to do is scroll down and we are going to go to American Truck Simulator right here So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then once we get on here, I am going to go ahead and start off by downloading trucks. So we're obviously we're make, playing American Truck Simulator, so we are going to want to have an awesome truck to go ahead and roll around with in American Truck Simulator. So today, what I am going to download is the Peterbilt 579 2022 by Frank. We're going to go ahead and click on that baby right there. And for those of you that do not have anything to open up your zip files, I highly recommend you guys get WinRAR. Okay, so what you want to do, and again, I will leave this link down in the description. What you guys want to do is go ahead and download WinRAR X64. Once you get that downloaded to your PC, I will show you how to use WinRAR once you guys actually start downloading stuff, and we'll show you where to install them. So for now, what we're going to do is go to our taskbar. We're going to go ahead and type here to search, and we are going to go ahead and type in File Explorer. So once you type in File Explorer, in here you're going to see, and I'll go ahead and enlarge it, you guys are going to see Documents. So we're going to click on Documents. We're going to go to American Truck Simulator. I'm going to click on that. And in here, you should have a mod folder. If you guys do not, just click over here to the side by right-clicking. Go to New and create a new folder. Name it M-O-D, all the way case letters right there, and you will have a new mod folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside that mod folder, and you guys will see I already have mods inside here. But we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to install mods right now. So just to make sure you stay inside your mod folder. If it's empty, that's completely fine. No problem. Um, like I said, I do have mods already installed here. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and download this Peterbilt, this 2022 Peterbilt 579, and let's go ahead and get into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and scroll down and we are going to go ahead and the thing is, is on modhub.us, just be careful what you guys click on because there is a lot of ads in here. Um, so just be careful what you click on mod at your own risk and everything, but like I said, this, this site does have pop-ups. Just be careful. So I'm going to go to sharemods.com, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to take me over to another site, and it's going to create a download link. So we're going to click on this yellow right here, this little yellow thing. This is create download link. I'm going to go ahead and click on that, and that's going to go ahead and create a download link for us. And I'll go ahead and show you what you're going to do with that download here in a second. So you're going to see it's going to start downloading for us. And you'll see a pop-up right here. And some of these downloads do take a little while to go ahead and download. So what we're going to do is, and mine's saying forever. I don't know why it's taking that long to actually download this file. Uh, but we'll go ahead and let that download. And then we are going to go ahead and click X out of this. And we'll go ahead and start downloading another mod. So we're going to go AI traffic. And what I'm going to do is we're going to go by Jazzy Cat. And we're going to go ahead and download his traffic pack right here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and download jazzy cats traffic pack we're going to click download on this and what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and you're going to see sharemods.com again you can also use modbase i use sharemods.com because it's easier and it's a lot safer in my opinion so i'm going to go ahead and click on this and what we're going to do is create a download link just like we did in the last one so i'm going to create a download link we're going to have a pop-up right there don't worry about that just click x on it real fast and we are going to go ahead and let that download right there once these are done downloading, I will go ahead and jump back over to it. And you see this one's not taking that long at all. Um, so once that's downloaded and the Peterbilt 579 is downloaded, we'll jump back into it and let you guys see where we install them. I'm not going to make you guys wait until these download. Some downloads do take a little while depending on your PC and your Wi-Fi. Um, so just give me a second and I'll go ahead and let that download right there. And then we'll go ahead and get back into it. So now that both of them are downloaded, what we are going to do is we are going to go to our mods folder. Okay, and again, make sure you guys go to Documents, go to American Truck Simulator, make sure you guys create a mod folder, go inside your mods folder, and what you guys want to do, okay, so we're going to go to our taskbar again, we're going to type here to search, we're going to type in File Explorer, and then we are going to go to Downloads. So there's two separate ways of doing this. If you look inside my mod folder right now, all my files are SCS, okay, so they're all SCS files. So with the truck that we just downloaded, which you'll see right here, and that will be the Peterbilt 579 next gen right here. So that's the 2022 Peterbilt that we just downloaded, okay? It does not come like the painted truck traffic that we got from Jazzy Cat. So that was the second mod that we downloaded. So if you look at that one, the Peterbilt is a SCS file. So all we have to do, we don't have to open anything for it. All we have to do is just click on it, drag and drop into our mod folder, just like so. 
perfect so now that is inside our mod folder now for the traffic pack with the trucks that the snowco trucks and all that stuff that we've seen for jazzy cat which will be right here if we go inside so let's go back to our mod folder if we go to our downloads and we open this up so if you guys just downloaded winwar what you guys want to do is right click on it and go open with winwar okay or you go down here and click open with and you can open with winwar just like so so what you want to do is open that with winwar and it's going to pop up just like this and you'll see that the main file in here right here is a scs file so we want to take that scs file and drag and drop over here to our mod folder just like so so we're gonna drag and drop over there and now you see that both of these are inside our game now okay so we have two files in there that we just downloaded and these will be our two mods all right perfect now you guys can also go to steam if you guys want to you guys could go to steam go to american truck simulator you guys go to steam workshop what you guys can do is go in here and you guys can find mods inside here okay you got an international 9800 and all that good stuff you got cascadia and all that good stuff so um you guys can get interior rotate camera all that stuff all you guys got to do for these mods inside here is just go in here click on it and hit subscribe okay some of them will come with trucks some of our truck liveries all that stuff right there you go like i said steam workshop um, mod hub is where you get really good trucks and stuff and you guys could just go through here on steam workshop and just find trucks that you like and stuff like that uh, but i use mod hub us to get like newer trucks and trucks that i really like but let's go ahead and hop inside the game i'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and use these mods so as you guys see right here we just uh hit subscribe on that so we are downloading a new mod right now through workshop so we're going to go and let that go through there and then we're going to click play so let's go and let that go through there and what we're going to do is click play just like this we're going to open up american truck simulator and we are going to go ahead and head in the game and i'm going to show you guys how to actually get these trucks and again remember guys this is a mod so no matter what you guys do you are still going to have to pay for it even though it is a mod you will have to pay for it so our game is opening up and what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and go over to it perfect and what you guys want to do is go to mod manager so you see Mod manager right here you're going to click on that and for mod manager we're going to go ahead and let that open up right here and then we are going to go ahead and start putting our files in here because you got to go to mod manager for the files to go ahead and be placed inside your game so you guys can buy it inside the game so what we're going to do is you see we just downloaded the peterbilt 579 next gen this is the new peterbilt okay we got painted truck traffic pack by jazzy cat we just downloaded that so we're going to hit active what you want to do is double click on it okay double click on it it'll make it active and then we also just got the international 9800 from steam workshop so i'm going to click on that and you're going to see they're going to move over here once that is done we're going to go ahead and confirm changes just like so and now we are going to go ahead and start our game up so we're going to click continue game just like this and we are going to go ahead and continue game and we are going to go ahead and hop inside the game once i get inside the game i'm going to show you guys where you guys can go so i'm going to click load i'm going to go ahead and click continue and it's just telling me because I took out a couple mods that it's just telling me that um, they are no longer in there. So we're just going to open up the game and I'm going to show you guys how to actually find these trucks that you guys want. And you will see for the traffic mod that we got by Jazzy Cats, you're going to see that that's just going to be driving around on the map. And you'll see that trucks are actually driving around with real company logos on the trucks um, in the trailers. So let's go ahead and let this open up right here. Okay. So it says it detects my gamepad. Let me turn my controller on. Just like so. And we will go ahead and let that go through. And I will detect my controller. And all we're going to do is just click X on this. And what you guys want to do. So you guys want to go to truck dealers. So we're going to go to truck dealers right here. And remember, we put a new truck in. So you're going to see down here it says access mod dealer. So you want to go to access mod dealer. And what we are going to do is that's the new truck, the International 9800 that we got from Steam Workshop. But for the Peterbilt, this is going to be the new Peterbilt that we got right here. The 579 Next Gen 2022. That is the new one. You guys can go in here and customize it. Okay, so you go in here and customize it and do whatever you got to do. And that's a good looking truck. I'm going to have to use this on my next stream. That's a very good looking truck. You guys could change the color up. You guys can just go through here and make it anything that you want it to. And then once you guys are done, you can hit confirm. 
and you could go ahead and purchase this truck. Once you purchase this truck, it will send it over to your garage and you guys will be able to pull it out and use it. There you guys go. You guys have mods inside your game. You guys are good to go. Thank you all for coming by and watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys smash the like button and we'll see you all on the next one. Peace.